Hi guys, it's Mayana and I uh, I've been thinking about this thing for a while and um I kind of like at first I was like no I don't really want to like I love booktube like I've been on booktube for almost five years now I would have been on booktube for five years in April and I just was think about it I just decided that I think I want to leave um I feel I don't feel valued as a creator like I'm just gonna be honest I don't feel valued as a creator um I am so grateful for all the subscribers and the views that I do get like don't get me wrong but I just feel like people subscribe to me during the Black Lives Matter movement and then after that people just stop caring and they stop watching me and that's fine but I just don't want to upload if like nobody cares about what I'm talking about you know what I'm saying and it's just so hard. I'm not a self I'm not a self conscious person. Like I'm a very secure person, and I have just been worrying about what people are saying about me. And even speaking about that, I find myself so jealous on BookTube. Like I'm being a hundred percent honest with you guys. I'm not a jealous girl. I don't compare myself to other people. And a je feeling jealousy is fine. And I'm not like envious of people, but like I literally will see other creators who started before me. Well, other creators who start at the same time as me or creators who started after me getting more views and subscribers to me I'm like okay well shit what am I doing wrong and it's like I read every single genre I read 40 books a month I make multiple I make a bunch of reviews I I'm essentially reviewing 40 books a month in in videos for you like I'm always on top of the popular books and it's not like I'm doing these things on purpose like these are just I feel like that would that is what should just attract people to my account and it just doesn't and it's like no matter what I do I try to change up my content I'm not trying to upload the same things like and I have so many videos planned I upload like literally every three days and I still feel like it's not good enough like my views still aren't doing anything even when I tried to like give in and do like the drama like talk about like and it's not really drama but even when I tried to give in and talk about like and do even when I try to do like discussion videos like those don't do good so it just feels like everything I'm doing is not good enough and that's fine but I just feel like I don't want to be in a community where I don't feel value as a creator and I don't think that I'm gonna leave 100% like maybe I'll still upload wrap-ups or maybe I'll still upload like my I'm, I'm gonna upload my end of the year stats or whatever because I've been working hard to read 200 books like it's been so hard but I just don't feel value as a creator like um, even when I posted about leaving, I've had some other black creators saying like, yeah, they feel like leaving too. And it really sucks because um, there are so many black creators in this community and only and still no one has 100K yet. Like, come on now. And then it's also like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, the whole like TikTok lifestyle girlies, like them coming on here and getting so many views, there's just literally pisses me off like it makes me not want to be in the community anymore because these are girls who read Colleen Hoover they don't really read it diversely they don't really read anything like not that you have to read anything new but it's not anything different from TikTok they come on here and they get so many views and they have so many subscribers and then there's me who I've been on this been in this community for years and I am feeling like girl my flop like when I was in my flop era that's fine but my flop era has been it for two years now and I just feel like there are people, there are literally people who weren't even a part of booktube who started making booktube videos and then now they have a million subscribers and they're the biggest booktuber and it just sucks because we have like there are people who have been in this community for five years like people who have been in this community for me who are literally struggling to get subscribers and then you have someone who comes out of nowhere and like this is not their fault or anything and like they have like good videos or whatever but it really sucks because some people really and I'm not saying that like they don't work hard like the people who have like the people who are getting like a bunch of subscribers aren't working hard but there are people who have been in this community for years now who also work hard and we're not seeing anything from it and it just feels like no one cares about what we have to create and 
I'm just I'm just falling out of love of, and with booktube I do have another channel it's called Mayo Core and I am talking about my other hobbies I've gotten into like gaming recently as you can see like I'm gonna upload videos about my hair um I like to do those little video essay things um I'm uploading a video about dark academia a few days after this honestly uh, and I might even switch over to uploading book videos on there instead and like I honestly the channel might not even take off like the channel might just be a small channel but I would rather flop doing something that I absolutely love than flop in and I do love reading but it's like I'm not in love with the community anymore I'm gonna be honest so this month I got my YouTube check and I as you guys know I don't have a job I am applying to jobs now I'm looking for jobs because I obviously I don't have enough subscribers to work from home. I don't have enough subscribers to be a full-time YouTuber. Like, I'm not delusional. I'm not dumb. So, I am looking, like, for jobs now. But, and I got my, I didn't get a YouTube check last month. I didn't make enough money. And I still uploaded. Like, it's not like I didn't upload. And I didn't make enough money. And, like, just seeing that, I'm like, okay, well, shit. Like, nobody gives a fuck about my videos. Like, that, like I don't know what else to say. Like, nobody cares about what I have to say. Like, nobody cares. So, why would I be here? you know and granted like people may care like I get that I had a subscribers message me and she was like hey like I know that commenting on booktube videos are really important and I'm so behind on my videos and like I get that people have lives like you can't I do upload a lot in a week you can't sit here and watch all of my videos I do understand that I just feel like booktube I don't know how to explain it but I feel like booktube is dying and then you have the lifestyle turned booktube girlies and they're thriving and like even when tiktok came along like obviously I was a little annoyed at like booktok or whatever because now everything that we recommend on booktube is now a booktok sensation even though it's been it, it was recommended on booktube first or whatever um I even though like I had my issues with booktube I was still happy that it came along because I felt like it would still bring more people onto the YouTube the booktube community like I thought okay like if people are watching these book talks then they're gonna come to booktube and watch longer length videos don't know why I thought that absolutely not but then you have people who have book like who make booktubes like what talk but like, will make booktubes but from tick book talk but they're the only ones that are getting the views and it's like nobody cares what we have to say like at the end of the day so why am i here if you don't care what i have to say and then it's like at least on my other channel nobody cares what i have to say but i'm happy with that like i'm just not happy with booktube i'm not in love anymore and it's not like i feel like things are a chore like i have i had so many videos planned out i was going to upload until the end of the year and just start my year off with a new channel or whatever but i was so excited about my new channel that i just started it and then like the more i thought about booktube i'm like i just want to leave like whatever videos i have planned out i'll just maybe upload them on my other channel or not even film them like it is so annoying like i literally am depressed and filming it is not like i'm forcing myself to film because there are days when i just disappear but i'm literally depressed and filming and working my ass off and planning out these videos and scheduling these videos and getting do you know how hard it is to get out of your bed to film a booktube video i'm doing all of that just to not even really get a lot of views and i'm not saying like views are everything but let's be for real like let's be fucking serious when you're this i'm sorry this is so like whatever but let's be for real like let's be so serious for two seconds here people upload on youtube for the views because if you weren't you wouldn't be on youtube like let's be real here let's be real here. like let's be serious and i know there are probably gonna be people be people who are like oh why do you make everything about race like mayana like people don't watch you because you're black people don't watch you because you don't like your content that's all fine honestly don't bother commenting because I don't care. I said what I said. And I feel like this video is coming off very defensive because it's like these feelings have been piling up for such a long time. Like it's so annoying filming a video where I'm like, hey, because when you're black, literally everything is about race. Like I've said it before. When you're black, everything is about race. When you are a black woman, everything literally boils down to race. Because if not, why do I and it's not like it's not like I'm not funny. I have a really good quality camera. Like, okay. I get that like the sound isn't perfect I understand that and but like when you look at some of the other popular creators it's no different than theirs honestly I read 40 books a month I read every single genre I'm funny I'm pretty 
why don't like it's just like i do get that like some people just may not like my personality that that is 100 percent understandable but it's just it doesn't really matter because this is how i feel it's not like i'm saying this is a fact this is scientific this is just how i feel i'm allowed to feel how i feel so if you don't agree with how i feel i don't know what to tell you but yeah i don't want to keep going on i just don't want to be in this community anymore so you can check out my other channel i'm probably gonna get rid of my patreon because i don't feel comfortable making people pay for something like if i'm not uploading so you can check out my other channel i'll be over there um i'll understand if you don't want to because it's not just book content and i feel like if you're wondering oh why don't you just upload like your content here people from booktube do not care about your other hobbies if it's not booktube that's why i've tried like integrating like my other interests into this channel like i remember when wandavision was coming out i tried to do a wandavision talk nobody cared like literally no one on booktube like people tell you that they care and you get so many responses and this happens to me all the time like i'll upload a discussion video and people be like oh like i care about this and yeah you should upload it or yeah you should do this and then when you do it it's crickets so that's why i started a completely different channel because i'd rather just start over and get no views or get like i got 200 views on a video i uploaded and i was so happy like i am like over the rainbow happy about those 200 views so it's just like i just feel like i don't need to be in book two like maybe i'm top like i just don't belong in book two for now and maybe i'll come back next year or five years from now i'm not saying this is goodbye forever i'm just saying this is goodbye for now so yeah thank you for watching this video i'm still gonna be on bookstagram um, I'm always going to be a reader. I've been reading since I learned how to read. I'm never going to stop reading. I'm always going to have a love for reading. So you can check me out on BookTube. You can check me out on MyoCore. I have a personal Instagram. I have BookTok. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I do like love and appreciate all of you guys. Like that is something I will say. When I am in my depressed state, like I did love BookTube because it helped me feel a lot better. But it's just like, I'm just not happy here anymore. So, um... Goodbye.